Hello, my name is Yanis and I'm going to read a page about Fourier analysis. We're actually quite lucky that we're actually standing next to a harmonic analyzer, which is kind of the application of uh, Fourier analysis, but in its hardware form. But anyway, I'm going to read about it, so here we go. Fourier analysis. In mathematics, Fourier analysis is a study of the wave general functions may be represented or approximated by sums of uh, simpler trigonometric functions. Fourier analysis grew from the study of Fourier series and is named after Joseph Fourier who showed that representing a function as a sum of trigonometric functions greatly simplifies the study of heat transfer. Today the subject of Fourier analysis uh, encompasses a vast spectrum of mathematics in the sciences and engineering. The process of decomposing function into simpler pieces is often called Fourier analysis, while the operations of rebuilding the function from these pieces is known as Fourier synthesis. In mathematics, the term Fourier analysis often refers to the study of both operations. The decomposition process itself is called Fourier transform. The transform is often given a more specific name, which depends upon the domain and, uh, and other properties of the function being transformed. Moreover, the original concept of Fourier analysis has been extended over time to apply to more and more abstract and general situations. And the general field is often known as harmonic analysis. Harmonic analyzer. Harmonic analysis. And uh, each transform used for analysis uh, has a corresponding inverse transform that can be used for synthesis. And here I'm going to read some, uh, about some applications. Fourier analysis has many scientific applications in physics, partial differential equations, number theory, uh, combinatronics, signal processing, imaging, probability theory, statistics, option pricing, uh, cryptography, numeric analysis, acoustics, oceanography, sonar, optics, dif diffraction, geometry, protein structure analysis and other areas. Wow. This wide applicability stems from many useful uh, properties of the transforms. The transforms are linear operators and uh, with proper normalizations are unitary as well uh, as well as the hold on, as well weird brackets there's not enough brackets in there anyway the transforms are usually invertible the exponential functions are eigenfunctions uh, of differentiation, which means that this representation transforms linear differential equations with constant coefficients into ordinary algebraic ones. Therefore, the behavior of linear time invariant systems can be analyzed at each frequency independently. By the convolution theorem, Fourier transforms turn the complicated convolution operation into simpler multiplication, which means that they provide an efficient way to compute uh, convolution-based op operations such as polynomial multiplication and multiplying large numbers. The, di the discrete version of Fourier transforms uh, can be evaluated quickly by, uh, on computers using fast Fourier transform. Uh, Fourier transformation is also useful as a compact representation of a signal. For example, JPEG compression uses variant of the Fourier trans uh, transformation of small square pieces of digital image. The Fourier components of each square are rounded to lower arithmetic precision, and weak components are eliminated entirely, so that the remaining components can be stored very compactly. In image reconstruction, each image square is uh, reassembled from the preserved approximate Fourier trans transformed components, which are then inverse transformed to produce an approximation of the original image. I think that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you want to read this? Huh? Why did you want to read this? Because, uh, well, I'm, I'm an engineer myself, and I think uh, nowadays any, any microchip that you have anything, any computing, like even this camera, the recording here, it's got some sort of uh, Fourier analysis. Uh, microphone, when you actually digitize the audio and goes into the microphone, you definitely use Fourier transform to convert that and later on to analyze uh, also. And uh, yeah, I think it's just the, uh, the application of Fourier transform is very versatile, as we read from here. And uh, yeah, I don't think there would be information, uh, inform digital computing wouldn't be what it is now if it wasn't for Fourier, for Fourier transform. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool.